All right, since you live here and work in Washington, the question is the median price of a single family home. Where does it cost more to buy? In Greater Boston or in Washington, D.C., in the district? Oh, in the city itself? In the a district single itself. Family home? A single family home. Where, where does it cost more to buy one in Washington, D.C. or Greater I'd, Boston? I'll guess D.C. if it's just the city. Uh, Greater Boston is a bigger place, obviously. It's, 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 actually, it's actually Greater Boston <clears throat> by, by those numbers. You see, D.C. is a little over 500, and they're, they're fairly there, close. There are very way. few single-family homes in my district. Yeah, yeah, so. right. <laughs> the average price of heating oil, you, you heat, we were just talking about this. Yeah. You heat your house with oil. Yes. The average price of heating oil in Massachusetts is 258 a gallon. This week, is that more or less than it was last year? Probably a little more. A little more. It is yeah. a little more. That's that's exactly. You know, we're talking a high of 370 in, in the years past. 258. Yeah. All right, you're off the hot seat. So you I think I was away. four for four. You, you four think four you were four for three, four? I'll go three for four. I'll give you two for four. Oh. Um, but so, that's still good. <laughs> it's very good. Are you kidding me? Um, speaking of uh, gas and oil, uh, self-driving cars. Um, you're on the transportation committee. Uh, you spoke about autonomous cars this past week. You're not a big fan. No, I mean, they're coming, whether I like it or not, but there are a lot of issues related to them. Um, I think the most, I mean, there are a lot of regulatory issues and safety issues. I think the most important issues, what do we do when all these cars come on the road and we have millions of Americans who are pushed out of jobs? Truck drivers, cab drivers, Uber drivers, whatever, I mean, delivery drivers. Um, that's a, when this technology gets deployed, it will be deployed faster than other technology. Cell phones took 30 years to, mm -hmm. to actually really take over our lives. Mm -hmm. um, robots are still, they're doing it still. This, when this happens, when it happens, it'll be done dramatically in a matter of five years or so. Um, it's not, it's not going to happen tomorrow, but when it happens, it's going to happen quickly. I, I want to talk about the Trump dossier. Did the DNC, did Hillary Clinton's campaign make a big mistake by paying for this opposition research, considering the, the uh, sources are from overseas? The answer is no, as long as it's legal. I honestly don't know the details of whether it's right. legal to buy something. We all do opposition research, and if somebody walks in your office and says, I have opposition research on your opponent, or yourself, to be perfectly honest, you look at it mm -hmm. and you consider buying it. Now, how much that would cost, and now there may be some technicalities, and I don't know whether it's from a foreign government that's possible but every person in high office does opposition research on both their opponent and themselves so that in and of itself doesn't bother me I think the issue that has sort of dominated just about conversations everywhere across America this past week is hashtag me too mm -hmm. uh, it really has exploded a former president journalists politicians and state capitals are all being named just about daily what's the vibe on Capitol Hill and are there are there a lot of nervous folks in Washington? No, I mean, not really. I mean, most of us find the things that have been reported pretty repugnant. Um, you know, look, the, 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 the biggest question in the last couple of days was, uh, was George H.W. Bush. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a little bit different than the other things. I mean, he's you know, 90 years old, and everybody has a, an old uncle or somebody who might have used their hands a little inappropriately. It's usually fluffed off as, well, you know, the old guy, don't worry about it too much. The, there's a fair, first of all, all the things that have been reported are pretty horrendous, to be perfectly honest. I mean, they're, they're clearly and unequivocally over the line, at least the ones I've, I've heard about. Um, but it's a fair question where the line is. And the line has moved and will continue to move. And I think it's an important thing to have open discussions of what is appropriate relationships between a man and a woman at any time. It's usually easier when the man or the woman, whoever, is in the dominant position, an employer-employee situation. That's not new, and everybody kind of knows that those things really are problematic. I think most voters are pretty cynical, however, about politics, about politicians, especially what's going on in Washington. And they're thinking if this is happening, you know, on Main Street, it's happening in Hollywood, it's happening in Wall Street. I have no that, doubt there's uh, going to be somebody in Washington who's that done it. That it must be rife in, in Washington, I, especially I, in Congress. I, I, I think that's probably wrong because most of us know that we live in a glass house and therefore we'd probably be a little bit more uh, suspect. Mike Pence won't even meet with a woman alone in his office. Um, that may be a little too extreme, but you know, there, I think most of us are pretty aware of it. I know I became dreadfully aware of it when Gary Condit was was under the under the glass mm -hmm. about he had taken a picture with somebody I take pictures with people all the time and he had a picture taken with this with poor woman who was killed and it looked like they were a couple or something it's like look I you could crop me out of a thousand pictures but now I'm aware of it and it's unfortunate but it's true um, so the answer is I'm sure it's happened in Washington don't get me wrong we're not exempt from anything but I really don't think you're gonna find it being uh, very widespread at least not in the house or the, or the Senate we're elected officials have there been some people that have probably done some wrong things of course they have and They're, do you think we'll be hearing a few at least a few stories coming out of I Washington? would be shocked if you don't about right. any any profession anywhere 
Congressman, thank you so much. It's always great to see you. Congressman Mike Capuano on the record with Thanks. us this morning. Our roundtable is next with the Hot Topics of the Week, and Ted is back on his soapbox. The ongoing dispute of McCain v. Trump. We get reaction.